the new banana varieties are about uh, seven to eight times bigger than the traditional bananas. So for the Ukubwa, Tushi, Rizi can get enough fear. You know, now I find this year is safe. Up and down, this is a man. You know, you're a man, you're a man. Tushi. That's a man, you're a man. 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 Na iki kuma inazidi yapa baada ya kuma i yapa ni dizi ya zamani apa imesha kuma. The change is very big. For example, there were some districts that were traditionally nani banana growers like Biaramuro, Geita, and the Ngara. Currently, are the good exporters outside the Kagera region of bananas. Not only food, not business, but it's life now. Farmers sometimes may not be interested to know where they have been come from, but are interested to see that these are good bananas. They know that Ari Maruku was multiplying, distributing these banana varieties. But in the strict sense, we are bred by the people of Catholic Leuven in the Belgium. The Belgium Technical Corporation funded the project Banana Cropping Systems in Kagera and the Kibondo districts of Kigoma region. In this, in the project, we managed to train about 8,000 farmers as direct beneficiaries. However, we went further training others as the TOTs. So in collaboration with the local governments, the project, we man managed to multiply about 4 million suckers. So in, in simple calculation, 4 million plants, it means is about 400 hectares of banana that all could have been planted with these banana varieties. This is the affair. What one must Cassana Purima, the Edipuri Kamaka and Tanu. I'm going by it in Lyon, at an ungovernment as a man, the two months of Tokana, Shampoo Sal and I'm going to tell Miauko. I'm going back to your Nayo Shamba Zima, the idea of that to combine a key fear. In the process of the production of the planting materials, uh, there were some stages. Primary nursery is site where the planting material starts. Secondary, it means after the primary nursery is the second site, the plants started from the macro propagator that is based at Ari Maroku. Then the plants were sent to the farmers who were selected for nursery keeping. Those we called them secondary nurseries. Farmers are attracted by the varieties because they give big bunches and one bunch can suffice a family for some days. The traditional bananas as roots that cannot go further than 60 centimeter. But with these fear varieties, the roots can go up to 90 centimeter and above. It means with the fear, the, the roots can excavate the nutrients that has leached and be converted and used by plant. That's why they are giving big bunches. Another challenge was the market. And the, with the involvement of the CEDO, CEDO is the Small Industry Development Organization, they have trained the farmers on the post-harvesting processing of these bananas. Also is an input that has helped to curb the problem of the marketing. Around this area, farmers are bringing banana every Monday, Wednesday and Friday to sell to the Abagambakamo groups. Ferring bananas, bunches through the boat, Victoria boat to Mwanza. They go to Shinyanga, Singida, Dodoma, 
and many many other places wiki ni kitu kwa hiyo wanakuja watu kutoka wilaya Miseni huko ba vijijini wanaleta hapa naleta hapa fia na nua kijini naleta hapa na wazee hapa wateja wangu wako hapa nua ndizi hapa nauza hapa hapa kwa wanaosafirisha ndizi zinasafirishwa kutoka Bukoba hadi Kigoma msoma Shinyanga, Kama, Dada Pada Samu. The business is very good, not only good, the business is very good for the banana farmers. We are selling this in Zuli, Kiudumura, and Alipa. They can pay school fees from selling of these banana varieties. So they are making business, that's self employment. Others, the traders now, they are benefiting by getting big good price from the market. If here, in Nanda, at a full Natan. Nikija hapa anauza 2025 lakini hii hapa kijini napata kwa shilingi 6000 nikija hapa anauza nikosa shilingi 9000 tafunaria tegemea na soko pia mimi naona ina faida kwa sababu unaweza ukauza kwanza 2015 hadi 20 lakini kama kandizi yaka unaweza kukauza 5000 na majiri watu 30 nafanya kazi hapa katoma kazi ya kupakia ndizi Naipenda kazi yangu inanipa mahitaji ya nyumbani. Faida ninayoipata kwa matumizi ya chakula na afu na matumizi ya shomesha watoto. Naweza kumudu maisha yangu na watoto wa watatu wote wanaenda shule kupitia biashara hii. our labs and, and, and actually a good example of some of the things that we do. What we're doing is we're producing an oil seed crop that can be utilized to produce energy. So our students, I think one of the advantages would be the hands-on opportunities that they have. The students will receive instruction, research-based instruction in the classroom, so there's some theory, but then we apply it on farm. The industry connections are fantastic, and I think that's what gives our students the competitive edge. Uh, but we'll weigh the seed from each drop tube. I grew up on a farm, and I knew I wanted to work in the agriculture industry. I heard about CBTC and about all the activities that you get to do outside of the classroom and I thought it would be interesting to start there and then decide where I wanted to go. There's a lot of competitiveness in the agriculture industry today and the more education you have the better. So I think that I want more education, you know you can never stop learning.